And we drafted the statement that you gave us last night, and we just wanted to ask a couple of questions to clarify a few things. He said he told you everything. We trying to catch him out. Phil, they're just doing their job. Yeah, well, they've always had him at his family, and they? Phil. I assure you that's the last thing that we're trying to do, Mr. Mitchell. Sorry. We just want to make sure we got every detail written down. So we have the best chance of catching the people who did this to Paul. In your statement, you say you believe this was a random, unprovoked attack. I told you. It was a mugging. I woke up down an alley. No phone, no wallet, nothing. No one's doubting your version of events, Ben. But unfortunately, we do have to follow all lines of inquiry. What was that supposed to mean? You and Paul were a couple. We were just wondering why you hadn't mentioned this in your statement. Because I didn't think it was important! I think we should probably leave it there for today. Um, before we go, could you sign out a receipt for your phone? Um, can we go into the kitchen? Is that OK? Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Imagine how difficult this must be for you. Well, we're going to do everything in our power to find those responsible and bring them to justice. But to do that, we have to be 100% sure that you've told us everything. Look, you're a young gay couple and you were attacked on your way home. We can't rule out that you and Paul may have been targeted. What do you want me to do? Huh? Make up stuff that didn't happen. If you think of anything, no matter how insignificant it may seem, please don't hesitate to give me a call.